The Green Sheet is a financial publication of the MWRA Advisory Board. This edition takes a closer look at and breaks down MWRA's debt service costs moving forward. The Advisory Board has often noted that debt service is the primary driver of MWRA rate increases. Here you can see how total spending in purple mirrors almost identically debt service in green. When capital financing jumps in any given year, overall spending jumps as well. You can also see the increases in direct and indirect expenses are nowhere near as sharp. In fact, in the time frame pictured, the non-debt service spending increased only 1.7% on average. But where did this increased debt come from? The short answer is all of the major capital construction that the authority was formed to address. In this chart, the line shows the authority's actual capital spending, including the Boston Harbor Project, Carroll Water Treatment Plant, Metro West Tunnel, and the CSO program. The green bars depict the debt service payments to pay off the capital projects. As the line shows, the actual spending for capital projects dominated the 90s and early 2000s, while the current time frame features lower capital spending but much higher levels of debt service payments. The Authority and the Advisory Board have always kept an eye on this green mountain of debt that the Authority is climbing. It should be noted that the original repayment schedule of this debt was made with the assumption of high levels of debt service assistance, or DSA, from the Commonwealth. Unfortunately, due to tough economic times, DSA was eliminated in 2003, as shown by the blue bars. It was restored, but at much lower levels. However, as the line shows, the expected levels of DSA ranged from $50 million to over $80 million each year. If you recall the previous chart, this increased relief was targeted at the steepest points of the mountain of debt. The Advisory Board is grateful to our Legislative Caucus for continuing to fight for this line item, and to Governor Baker for being the first governor to include DSA in his budget in several years. Despite these lower levels of DSA, the Authority has used many different tools over the years to manage debt payments as we approach the peak, including a massive restructuring in 2007 requested by the Advisory Board. Without using these tools, the mountain would have been much higher and the climb and costs to communities much steeper. Today, we are within five years of the peak of this mountain of debt. However, the truth is, there are actually two different mountains. This chart separates sewer debt service from waterworks debt service moving forward. In the previous chart, the single mountain peaked at 2023 and then began to go down. In this chart, you can see that while sewer debt does, in fact, drop off after 2023, that peak that we've all been used to seeing, water debt continues to go up until 2030. What does all this mean? Basically, there are two mountains to keep an eye on, and while one peaks in 2023, the other peaks in 2030. If we're looking at the combined peak as we have up to this point, the instinct is to use what tools you can to chip away at the top of the mountain before 2023. However, now we can see there are two different mountains to manage, so some tools may need to focus after 2023. This is why some of the advisory board's recommendations moving forward will be focused specifically on this second mountain and finding ways to manage water debt service between 2023 and 2030. The advisory board will continue working on behalf of communities toward its for no more goal of keeping future assessment increases below the 4% mark. It should be pointed out that these charts and figures are merely projections of future years and have a lot of assumptions built in. And many things will inevitably change between now and this time. One large assumption embedded is the placeholder being used for the Metropolitan Water Tunnel Redundancy Project. The placeholder being built in is $1.4 billion, but variations on the project range both higher and lower. Toward this end, the Advisory Board is hosting a municipal workshop on December 8, 2016 to help communities learn more about the Water Redundancy Project. Because the MWA Board of Directors plans to make a final decision on the project early in calendar year 2017, this will be the last chance for you to help shape the size and scope of this project and to let your community's voice be heard. For more information and to RSVP to reserve your seat, please visit www.mwraadvisoryboard.com forward slash muniworks RSVP. Thank you for watching the Green Sheet. To view other editions, please visit our website and feel free to contact us anytime.